Housing, homelessness, parks, and extra pay for thousands of city workers. That's how Omaha will spend the next round of pandemic relief money. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. Mayor Jean Stothert detailed the plan today. She says the city received more than $112 million in federal ARPA funding. KTV News Watch Evans, Alex McClune is live with a breakdown of where the money is going. Alex? Yeah, the city says affordable housing will be its largest program funded by the American Rescue Plan Act. We came to the work with our sleeves rolled up, ready to leverage public and private funds. Meredith Dillon leads the nonprofit Front Porch Investments. The city selected them to expand affordable housing and $20 million from the city, $20 million from Front Porch, and a potential $20 million from the Department of Housing and Urban Development aims to create more than 700 mixed income housing units. Developers, both nonprofit and for profit, are applying for funds. They could uh, make a case to develop all across the city. The city says people also overwhelmingly want improvements to public parks. Parks Director Matt Kelsevich says Mandan Park is one of 10 areas up for significant upgrades and renovations. These projects will include upgrades to existing playgrounds and shelters, road and parking improvements, and possible other features to open the park to new visitors and accommodate the increased use and growing need that has developed over the last two years. Omaha will also use nine million ARPA dollars to help full-time city employees. They'll get 3,000 extra dollars as a thank you for working through the pandemic. 800 retirees will also get cash, but elected officials are not eligible. Our first responders provided critical emergency services and our civilian employees continued our essential services. The mayor says grants will also help nonprofits help people experiencing homelessness access basic needs. We reached out to Omaha City Council President Pete Festerson, who says this represents a big opportunity to leverage public and private funds to really make a difference. Live downtown, Alex McLoon, KETV Newswatch 7. All right, Alex, thanks. Mayor Stothard announced the first round of ARPA funds in January. That 15 million was used for grants to nonprofits. The city worked with the Omaha Community Foundation to give $10 million in grants for things like workforce developments and violence intervention. Omaha partnered with United Way of the Midlands to distribute $5 million to tackle hunger, homelessness, and other issues. And there was a hotel stimulus package using more than $4 million to help Omaha hotels that suffered losses during the pandemic. 